one. So, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Reading this chapter kind of messed me up a little bit. Um, okay, so I guess starting right off the bat, a, a slight correction from last week I have to make is that the jumbled up mangled mess of hands forming out of Shigaraki are not part of his quirk, but instead part of his actual body that was experimented on, experimented on, thanks to, the, the, thanks to dear Dr. Garaki. And, yeah, at this point, I have to say, what the fuck, Horikoshi? Like, again, I'm convinced the man will have, will use any opportunity available to him in order to dive into some seriously fucked up body work. Like, once, once again, proving that if the man is still interested in writing, drawing manga after My Hero Academia, he needs to consider working on working zombies into his next work because this is some pretty horrific stuff. He's he's diving in he's diving into with Shigaraki. I mean, I I guess it's kind of easy with him considering his shtick, Shigaraki's shtick, but still, it's like the level of horror, body horror he he does with Shigaraki is kind of get is kind of insane, and and thus. And one one thing I one thing I loved in particular with this whole with Shigaraki's mutation is how it's basically throwing the heroes so far up against the wall that as Genius and Aizawa said themselves, Izuku's gonna have to find his own way back. That, that there's gonna be no one to, to come in and 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 help just just kind of just, just teleport him just teleport him to to where he needs to be, and. <clears throat> and and although I'm still a little bit iffy on Izuku having a part to play in Izuku, Ir Uraka's fight with Toga, I do like how this is kind of forcing Bakugo into the spotlight and giving an opportunity to show he's just as capable of taking Shigaraki on as Izuku, and really just in general giving a couple more other heroes more of a chance to shine. And Genius, I think Genius really said it best that that like the, all these other heroes have been living in the even in the shadow of all of one for all. One, one for all, and one for all, Izuku, and even and, and even All Might up to this point that 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 they've kind of forgotten that they themselves they've it's almost like they've kind of forgotten that they themselves are just as capable as 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 the top heroes are like and they're and this is them this is them this was genius basically saying we're not wholly reliant on Izuku or 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 one one for all like they 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 were. Like they were with All Might, and while obviously, and don't get me wrong, obviously we know they're going to probably get defeated by Shigaraki, but it's good to see them take initiative. Now, in that same breath, I do weirdly kind of worry of what exactly is going to happen, hap, of what's going to happen off screen. What, 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 what pretty much Izuku is dealing with is dealing with Toga. That's the one thing that does kind of concern me a little bit. Um. But, uh, yeah, getting, and just quick before getting into the real juicy part of the chapter, a nice little Easter egg with this, with this chapter was, was basically seeing Sirius again, like, she, like, she was, like, she was, she was never, like, Sirius is kind of one of those characters that was never officially canonized in the story, but seeing the crossover from that little bit of filler in the anime to this chapter was a very nice touch on Horikoshi's part, but, yeah, obviously the bigger thing about this chapter, though, is the battle between Toga and Izuku Ochiko? Is the battle between T Toga and Izuku Ochiko begins, where we learn the reason Danger Sense didn't even recognize her a threat is that it's be is is because her actions, for as aggressive and filled with intent to kill as they might seem on the surface to us, aren't even based on any form of aggression, as it's stated to us. She is so emotionally broken that her brain doesn't even register her actions as aggressive. Like, what she's doing is legitimately based on the most twisted but genuine feelings of love for Izuku. And anytime she's presented herself as hostile, it's actually more been her acting out of jealousy. Like that, 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 that again. That that's that's obviously my own interpretation of it. But that that's that's the best thing I can interpret from it. Like anytime she's anytime she's acted jealous, jealous for jealous because of Ochiko. 
anytime she's acted like hostile towards Yachiko, it's out of jealousy. Like stay like the whole it's the whole stay away from my man kind of thing. Like, yeah, I I, I don't like I, I don't I don't know what to say anymore. Like this is so messed up. And the fact that Horikoshi is actually forcing Izuku and Ochiko to fight her makes it even more so. Like, okay, I, I know it's weird to say, but for everything bad Toga has done, she shouldn't even be here or in prison. She needs some real, legitimate help. Like, this This is already, like, it, it, was, it was a comfortable enough as this. But with this revelation, this... This has gotten, this has already gotten imme immeasurably uncomfortable to watch. Or like nothing has even happened, and already this has gotten the the amount of uncomfortable I'm feeling just just from this revelation has already gotten immeasurable, and it's like I'm not sure. Like this is one of those. Like, this is one of those situations that, that is going to get so just... Uh, it, it, I'm going to be squirming a lot in this in this fight, honestly. Uh, it is going to be that uncomfortable. And the thing is, I'm not sure how Izuku or Ochiko are supposed to help her, honestly. Because how are you even supposed to... What are you even supposed to do in a situation like this? How are you supposed to fight or help someone who's... By very technical definitions, not a threat. And yeah, it is like th 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 again. Don't get me wrong. She, she has done some very incompetent, but her mind again. She has done some very unforgivable stuff. But her mind doesn't register that as it's it's just her doing things out of legitimate love. And it's. It's funny, I don't personally know of anyone who has this level of mental illness, or just mental illness in general, but again, this, th this whole, th th just this revelation in itself has already hit, has already hit enough notes to the point where it still, it still feels, just still feels uncomfortably close. Like, I don't know what to even say about this, like... Horikoshi has... Horikoshi... This is really... This is really fucking messed up, dude. I don't know. That's all, that's all I can say. It's... It's absolutely messed up. I... Again, what else can I say? Like... Horikoshi... That... This... Oh my god. Oh, uh, yeah, like... I... It really just does... Again, I know I keep repeating myself, but it really does beg the question, what are you supposed to do in a situation like this? Really... What is the right answer? Like, just throwing down arms, talking it out? Like, what can you do? <sighs> um, yeah. Um, with all that being said, though, this is one of those chapters where it kept itself relatively self-contained, but, and, and, and I like that, but it's also, but I'm also surprised it was only 13 pages, because reading it felt like he sped through certain moments he could have spent a little bit more time on. Like, it's, this is one of those weird chapters where in broad, where, where, this is one of those weird times where in broad strokes, the chapter, the chapter is, is, is perfectly fine and perfectly paced. But with the smaller moments of the chapter, like what was going on with, with Suyu, that's where it felt a couple, that's where it felt, felt a couple extra pages were needed or could have been used. Like, every time Horikoshi is, ever done a chapter like this that, that's under 15 pages it always feels like it's not enough and i don't know why it just isn't but at the same time it is made up by the fact of what we got i guess with toga in this chapter um but uh yeah guys that's pretty much all i got for this review if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe follow me on twitter facebook or twitter analyst crunch roll be sure to hit the notification bell, the subscribe button, and just share the video around, guys. Yeah, Dark Knight of Anime, signing off. Later, everyone. Horikoshi. What the fuck?